One of the top questions we get asked as eye doctors is, am I a good candidate for LASIK? Stay tuned in this video as we talk about it. Hey, it's Dr. Beard, practicing optometrist in the state of Utah, and this is the Stone Canyon Eye Show, where we go over the best tips and products to keep your eyes healthy and looking good. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting the bell below to be notified when new videos come out. Refractive surgery is an umbrella term, referring to a group of different surgeries that can correct for your vision. Two procedures that are the most widely known are LASIK and PRK. Often people will ask what the difference is between the two, or if one is better than the other. In LASIK, we use two lasers, and one of the lasers very accurately creates a thin little flap on the front surface of your eye. The surgeon then moves the flap out of the way in order to use a second laser to do the treatment to correct your vision. With LASIK, you're able to see very well right off the bat after they put the flap back down, and after a few follow-up visits over a few weeks, Voila, you're all done. I often wonder what the first conversation was like whenever the surgeon presented the idea of using lasers to correct for somebody's vision when LASIK first came out. With PRK, instead of making a flat, they completely remove the front surface of the eye in order to do the treatment. They then use the exact same laser that we did in LASIK to create the treatment zone, and as your eye heals, it remakes that front layer of the eye, and enabling you to see clearly. So the biggest difference between the two, as far as the patient is concerned, is the healing time. PRK is definitely a much longer road to recovery for your vision, but the end result is the exact same as far as LASIK versus PRK. There are some people who would be a better fit for one versus the other, so talk with your eye care provider to see which would be a better fit for your specific situation. I have patients who have been told they aren't a candidate for LASIK or PRK, and they just assumed that that was it, that there wasn't any other options. But there are also other options available to you. A procedure called ICL is where they implant a lens inside your eye. It's a great option for those who have been told LASIK or PRK aren't an option for them. There's also a procedure called clear lens exchange, where it's a essentially cataract surgery where they replace the lens inside of your eye with a new lens with your prescription. Only it's done before your lenses are cloudy, in other words before you have cataracts. A common concern with refractive surgery is dryness after the surgery takes place. Generally the consensus among eye doctors is that the level of dryness that you have before the surgery is going to be the same level of dryness that you have after the surgery as well. It can sometimes take several months for the dry eye symptoms to go away, but eventually they generally do. However, we want to do our best to hopefully eliminate any sort of symptoms of dryness before we even do the surgery to give the best possible outcome for your surgery. Be sure to watch our other videos in our channel about dry eyes and things that you can do and treatments that are available to you from your eye doctor to treat your dryness. If you need reading glasses or bifocals, refractive surgery can absolutely still correct for your vision. Generally, we correct for your distance vision and then you use reading glasses for when you need to see up close still. They can also do what's called monovision where they keep one of your eyes corrected for far away and then the other eye they correct a little bit for near and then your brain just switches eyes depending on what it needs to look at. If you've wondered if you're a good candidate for refractive surgery, be sure to visit with your eye doctor to talk with them about more surgical options available to you to treat your vision. If you found this video to be helpful so far, be sure to hit the like button. Comment below on what your favorite thing would be after getting refractive surgery. For me, it would definitely be to be able to see while I'm at the pool with my kids. What other questions do you have about refractive surgery? Be sure to comment below.